Russians use old jet engines from MiG-15 airplanes to clear snow from roads. Dude, that's freaking brilliant. I'm not sure how fuel efficient that is. Maybe just get a plow? But hey, man, if it works, it works. Palm sander on a deck, standing up. That's, uh, that's actually really brilliant because I hate palm sanding in, like, an entire deck. You could just, like, broom it. That's absolutely fantastic. I believe Cletus is unclear on the concept behind trailer. Nah, 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 dude. You trail it on top of your car. That way you don't need trailer plates. But the clearance must suck on that. Using the whole shelf as an antenna for our old radio in the kitchen. I mean, it works, bro. What can I say? This is... This ain't it, bro. Easy watering of the Christmas tree without bending over funnel in a PVC pipe. I mean, hey, dude, that's absolutely brilliant. You don't gotta bend over, don't gotta hurt your back, don't gotta spill it on the floor. Load-bearing pencils. Okay, as someone who lived in a very white trash house that had an unpainted wall that had a, you know, a, this exact egg crate foam that I slept on underneath a blanket instead of a sheet, let me tell you, we did this. It was sketchy. They broke once. We stopped doing it after that. But yeah, this is... This is... Fun, wet trash lifestyle. I grew up really poor, but it's fun. Who needs a boat? When you got the submarine 1,100 wheelbarrow there, buddy. This would actually probably work, and that's dope as heck. There's redneck engineering. Then there's I'm gonna kill somebody redneck engineering. Nah, yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it, dude. If you worry, it's got a castle not on it. Those things don't come off. Fully enclosed forklift. Why exactly? Is that like for warmth or heat? Also, the tires are different sizes. I, don't get me wrong. I, I fully drive this. It's like a little poop shack. But like, what's going on here? Don't want to get your feet wet? I give you the flip top flops. You walk on top of all the water. Didn't they make toys like this as like a kid where you like hold the rope? Romper stompers. That's what they're called. Yes, it's connected to a heater on the inside. Okay, listen, I am I am the AC sticking out my back car window held on by wood screwed into my 97 Honda kid. But let me tell you, propane on the top of my car with an active gas line? No, that's where I draw the line. Fifth Christmas with my tree installing bit. What is a tree? Oh, dude, that is brilliant. Dude, you're a genius. I don't do Christmas trees, mostly because we don't celebrate Christmas or really any holidays, but if I ever do again, that's what I'm doing. Mixes eggnog too. My Airbnb assured me they have a very safe baby gate. Let's just zoom in here. What books we got? Planet Earth. I mean, Planet Earth's pretty safe. You know that? Keep it safe. I mean, hey man, whatever works. Trust me, it'd keep the pressure on. Hey babe, can you fix the broken blind cord? Yeah, gotcha. Zip ties. A redneck's best friend. That in duct type. The red tool is the one you have. These books are here for an essential structural purpose. They are not for sale. Please don't touch. Yeah, let me tell you, growing up in the country, a lot of bookstores would do this. I used to go there to buy all the, you know, used Goosebumps books, especially the Choose Your Own Adventures. Oh, so good. I am something of an engineer myself. Did... Did you just cut a handle out of foam? Shipping foam? That's actually pretty brilliant. No tape. This was the only solution. Hey, dude. Dude. Now, spackling isn't that hard, but there was other solutions you could have done. Let the cord hang for a day. If it kept getting unplugged, I don't know, find a thumbtack, stack them. Don't jam a screwdriver in the wall. That's not a redneck job. A redneck would have found anything but a whole screwdriver into the wall. In Texas, if you can't afford to buy a new pickup truck, you just make do with what you got. I mean, hey, buddy, that's some yeet yeet live action right there. I like that one. And they got a liquid cool KTM on the back. That's a great great dirt back rate my gpu cooling yeah this ain't it bro let me tell you um those fans are definitely gonna cut that tape at some point like if it wiggles too much and oh boy holy crap i had the same bedding 25 years ago I haven't seen it in ages i'm living behind your walls that's why need to replace a valve stem don't have a sludge hammer log plus ratchet strap i mean there's other ways to replace a valve stem guys you don't you don't need all this i'm telling you that i don't use a sludge hammer to replace valve stems <laughs> zip tie stitching what you never did this and you never lived the redneck lifestyle, baby. Let me tell you, my, my bumper was held on by black, cheap zip ties from AutoZone, not that metal crap. First class redneck engineering. There's a drip in my boot. <laughs> Semi-truck that has been converted into a pickup. You know what? I don't hate this. This is pretty cool. Gas is gonna suck, but that is the coolest pickup truck I have seen in a long time. Hockey puck that keeps my CPU cooler seated. I mean, hey, man, I legit have some made-up stand that is adjustable holding up my four 40, 90, or 46, I don't remember which one it is in my PC. It is like one wrong move, game over, bro, but I just don't care. Roomba doesn't sell a replacement part I need. Hmm. I mean, hey, bro, whatever works, works, baby. A new rubber strip costs how much? Nah, hand me a pool noodle. 
dude, what can I say? Pool noodles? So much a versatile tool. A local guy named Joe, the junk man, made this heated snow shovel out of a pancake griddle and a snow shovel. But why? Does it work? Why do you need it to be heated? That's just gonna make the snow damp and melt and then there's gonna be ice there unless you're like melting it away? I'm confused about this. Why do you need it heated? Do you hate grilling in the rain? No, I, I don't grill at all, but this is a very interesting contraption you have here, my friend. It looks a lot like the AC I had set up in my car. Gate wasn't long enough, so... I mean, that's just good engineering. That uh, It's a little wonky build, but whatever works, works, especially if you made it out of scraps. What do y'all think of my makeshift ant trap gorilla tape with honey for bait? I don't think it's gonna work but I wanna see if it works, but I really don't think it's gonna work, dog, cause like, ants can get off Gorilla Tape. Found on Facebook. Hey, it looks like a solid truck, what can I say? Zip ties as far as the eye can see. Damn, why didn't they snip the X's? Worse, they clipped some. You just kinda rock with the aesthetic, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda fun to watch the long tips blow in the wind when you're going fast down the highway. <laughs> motorized shopping cart. Oh, dude, we used to like motorize uh, freaking bar stools. We used to make lawnmowers go as fast as possible. That's just stuff you do for fun when you're white trash. Spoiler for any car. Oh, what does that say? Jobs and bar? What is the what does the running say? 50 bucks? I pay 50 bucks for that. I pay 50 bucks for that. That's pretty funny. Rechargeable outboard motor? Dude, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty freaking smart. As someone who likes to fish, this would work because I have a bunch of drill batteries. I'm gonna take this idea from you. Billy Bob's cut rate towing. We'll probably get it there. Yeah, probably. Probably. Let me tell you, this is actually very dangerous, but I've also done some interesting linkage options. And that poor, poor, what I'm assuming is a Chevy or Ford is gonna be an unhappy thing when it comes to shocks. I don't want to buy Swiffer pads, so I use this. Let me tell you, this works actually better. You can scrub really, really hard. I'm literally doing this right now in my Swiffer. Contigo doesn't make replacement lids, and their crappy handle broke on my son's water bottle. Zip ties to the rescue. Yeah, suck it, Contigo. Redneck shells. It's a shopping cart we stole from Wally World. Does this uh, qualify? Why though? Why did they do this? Did it have to legally like hang so low? I am very curious about like the inspection codes in this. Fire marshal, you can't see that strobe from the doorway? Installer, okay, how's that? Build jackbox. That's fine. Uh, let's get a lunch, I guess. Had to drill some holes overhead in some stainless steel. Yeah, that'll do it. That's a good three-ton jack. I got the red one from AutoZone myself. It's a little heavy to carry around, but gosh, has it never failed me. If it did, I'd probably be dead. Didn't want to lay on my back and drill holes, so floor jack and a drill, and you have a manual mag drill, that'll work on stainless. Let me tell you, it will. That's how I fixed my car hood when one of the uh, screws, like, broke off in there. I just stripped it out one of these bad boys, put a new one bigger in it. Yeah. No more cold toilet seat. Yeah, but like that's like putting the, the, the toilet seat cushion things on. They got a lot of bacteria on them. Now, one time we accidentally hooked up the hot water to the toilet. So every time you sat down in the winter for like two months, it was warm as hell. I wish I had a thought of it. Hmm, that's actually, that's pretty damn brilliant if your toilet seat always falls down. Laundry basket handle replacement. Yeah, just like, yeah, just get a broomstick, good to go. Forgot my belt. Do this works or get a safety pin and trust me, it'll hold your pants up. I do it all the time. Found on Marketplace, the Smar Tank. I really, really enjoy this as a redneck who owns too many stupid vehicles and not even that many. My brother owns a lot. This, this is, this looks fun as hell. This person has a PhD in redneckery. My friend, that's called a RHC redneck doctor level. We're not good at spelling. Airport uses Xbox Connect at check-in baggage. Hmm, that's pretty cool though. Nice. This looks like something that freak show from Harold and Kumar would drive. Yeah, I really like it though. I can't imagine trying to take a corner with that bad boy though. Also, how do you have a car like this and then you just have yellow Dodge with blue flames and then look, there's like some normal Aldi. Uh, sorry, not Aldi. I have a whatever the ring car is, not Audi, the other one. Volvo, there we go. From the front, it looks like a frog jumping. Hmm, I call it the frog thumper. It'll do for now. Well, legally, I'm not sure that holds up, but you just need to have something there so maybe maybe it is reflective hoping to get one more winter out of my favorite snow boots do it bro trust me the super glue always works staples do not however i tried that once did not go well a honda element flat towing a, a, a dump truck 
How? My God, they gotta be going 20 miles per hour, but that is impressive. Luxury scootering. This is for Graham Graham. We even built in a toilet. <laughs> Came out to a dead battery this morning. Someone borrowed my battery charger and didn't return it. I whipped up this battery charger out of my junk box. Oh, an old 13.8 V power supply and some large alligator clamps. It works perfectly, although I wouldn't want to leave it unattended for a long time. Yeah, that might blow up your battery or your entire house if it, you know, builds up enough charge. My mom's solution for an extension cord, she's an electrical safety contractor. Yeah, you just cover that baby with a plastic bag and hang it from a tree, good to go. I literally have that right now going to my RV because that's where I film my like reaction puppet videos and let me tell you, plastic bag keeps it dry and keeps you from getting shocked to death.